guys, once again, we're back. Team Hens of Gracie Deadville, Professor George Cernak, my man Dave Barry over here. Uh, today we're going to work on um, uh, a way to control and finish with some, uh, with some leg attacks, okay, with the popularity, of course, the De La Hiva God, especially the Barambolo uh, attacks. I started working this, and it's been very successful for me uh, to be able to get both legs controlled and keep my legs hidden at the same time while I'm not under attack and you know I have good control of my partner's uh, hips and legs. So uh, we're going to set this up from uh, a guard pass before we really have too much gripping going on. Uh, I'm going to lift my partner as he rolls back and I step in. Normally you know starts to go for the De La Hiva hook. Good here? Yep. Okay, so from here guys, as we're in this type of a position here, I'll push my partner and lift him, step one leg inside. As he places this De La Hiva hook here, I don't want to touch this leg. What I want to do is I want to reach for this leg and step behind with my leg. Okay, so one more time. Okay, he's already entered in with the De La Hiva hook. Okay, most people start to, to go after this leg. The guy starts circling around using this leg going to your back here. So as soon as the De La Hiva hook comes in, I want to hold this leg. And now I'm going to bring my knees together here and sit, pulling on the one leg. Now from here, I'm able to clamp my feet together and get a nice tight grip on Dave's, on Dave's uh, Achilles here. Okay. So at this point here, I'm pinching nice and tight. I have the ability to wrap around and attack uh, Dave's Achilles, but this is not really what I'm going for. I'm going to take my knee out of the way so you can see a little bit better. But normally I'd have my knee up and, and pinch tight here. Okay, so I have an Achilles tack here. And now what I'm going to do is he's going to start to pull it out. I'm going to let him pull it out because that straightens this leg here. As soon as this leg straightens, I'm going to reach under the armpit here. Wrap around and from here, Okay, notice the way I'm, I'm gripping. I'm not always gripping this way. I'll grip this way here to keep it nice and tight, uh, just the toes under my armpit, but I want to kind of wrap around the Achilles here. And now from here, my knees pinch tight. It, it's very, very tight uh, situation. So one more time, starting from uh, where he puts the De La Hiba hook in. Don't go after this foot and allow this one to go free. All right? So as soon as he comes back, Starts to put that De La Hiva hook in, it's here. Pass this leg in, my feet come together. Now I like to pinch my knees together and I can control the situation. My head's higher than his, I can always control. All right, so from here guys, now look, I'm gonna slide my arm in, start to attack. He pulls this away, exposing the other, uh, heel to me, the inverted heel hook, and now from here, I'm able to get my grip and finish. Very, very tight, okay? So this is a hard, uh, it's a very strong finish. If you do this with your partner, be super careful. Whenever you have these uh, inverted heel hooks, uh, these come on very quickly and they are dangerous. So when you practice them, practice them, uh, you know, with, with tender loving care, especially if you respect your partner as you should in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, okay? Uh, this technique is definitely something that white belts, I don't want you guys uh, going out and trying yet. Uh, this should be something a little bit more advanced. We don't allow any leg attacks until at least blue belt level, but you know, that's up to you. All right, so be careful with this one. It's a lot of fun. If you have any questions, you can always, you know, message us on Facebook or, or you know, reach us by email. Okay, guys, love doing the move of the week. Team Hunter Grace Danville.